Hey, Mystical Ben here, and this is World of Tanks Modern Armor. Today I'll be doing a weak spot guide on the Leopard 2A5. This is a very strong tank. The turret face is one of the strongest in the game, and the upper and lower plates on the hull are some of the strongest armor in the game. But there are quite a few areas that, if you can aim at them, are extraordinarily weak, and they're really going to help you deal with these in-game. So, for the most part, I just avoid even shooting the upper and lower plate. So, this 360mm plate here, you can pen this with gold from top tier main battle tanks. You have, like, close to 700mm of pen, especially if they're not angled. And the low plate, you really only need about 590mm of pen. Maybe a little bit less than that, and you can reliably pen this as long as they're not really over-angled. And then, of course, you know, the turret face is very strong. You know, this weak point here, this isn't really a weak point, honestly. It's 530 millimeters thick, and it's angled. Yeah, not, don't even bother really shooting there. It's not worth it. And then, of course, 600 millimeters behind the gun is absurd, and 650 on the turret cheeks. Those are definitely places you do not want to shoot. But... Especially if you have a 125mm gun, like the, uh, the Eastern main battle tanks do, on the Leopard 2A5, the entire left-hand side of the tank is only 40mm 40 40 millimeters thick, so you can overmatch that easily. It doesn't really matter how well-angled they are. As long as you can hit that 40mm plate on the side of the tank, you'll pen, as if you're in a, you know, a T-72 or the Chinese main battle tanks. Also, directly above the upper glacis, so I guess it's easier to look at the here. So you see how there's those two track links dead center on the upper plate? If you shoot directly above those, you're going to be shooting at a 40 millimeter plate. So with 125 millimeter guns, you'll overmatch. So no matter how well angled they are, I mean, if they're side on, I don't know why you would shoot there, but you can pen that no matter what. It's a little hard to tell in the armor viewer because there's layers of 40 millimeter armor. Because there's 40 millimeter plate directly behind the upper plate. There's a 40 millimeter plate directly above the upper plate. That's where you want to shoot if you are in an overmatch with your T72 BU, for example. Also, above that 40 millimeter plate, so these two plates here are very easy to pen with ATGMs. At least if you're using the 7C, the Bradley, or the BMP3. If you can hit these two plates, that's an easy penetration with ATGMs. In fact, honestly, I think the Leopard 2s are pretty easy to deal with with missiles. You just have to avoid the upper and lower plate, hit it pretty much dead center directly in uh, these two really thin, really well-angled plates. Because ATGMs have heat mechanics, so it doesn't really matter how well angled these plates are. They're so thin that you'll pen, no matter what. In addition to that, they have these these two horrible weak points on top of the turret. They are a hitbox. Usually viewports like this aren't a hitbox, but these are. And you can pen these with the Bradley's gun if you can hit them. Uh, the BMP3 actually has absolutely no problem shredding these weak points at close range. And usually how I'll aim at these, and I'll show actual footage of where to aim at the end of the video, but this 20, the on the left-hand side of the turret, there's a 20mm viewport. If you shoot through the top 50% of that, usually you'll hit this viewport on the left-hand side. And it's honestly, it's a really easy shot. You just have to know where to shoot. So Leopard 2A5 is kind of, it only really works against people who don't know your weak points. Kind of like the T-72s. But really, that's how armor in Era 3 works. If people know where to shoot you, your armor isn't going to mean anything at all.
anyway, if you have any questions, please comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching.